In this tutorial we'll go over how we can use stats, read them, listen to the events and change them through code. So I'm going to create a new folder for all of our code. I'm going to create a new c -sharp script. I'll just call this my stats reader. Okay. So first, um, we can grab our stats, our stats container, from our player. So the player consists of all of the stats, or contains all of the stats, and we can get to our player through the inventory, oh, sorry, player manager, which is in the devdoc.general. As you can see here, we add, add the using devdoc.general. Instance, current player, so that's the player that is currently active. If you have multiple players in your game, um, you're currently uh, active player is set in the player manager instance current player. This is just the general player. On that we have the inventory player component which contains all of our stats. So we can get the stats here. I'll just store that in a variable. And then from our stats we can actually start listening to certain changes or get a specific stat or whichever we really want to do. So we can say stats and here we can get a specific stat. For example uh, default and in the previous tutorial we actually made a strength stat. And I'll just temporarily store it in a variable. Now for this we need to import or uh, use the devdoc.inventory pro namespace. And now we actually have our strength and we can actually uh, log. So let's just use deeper.log. player strength, and we can log our strength. I'm just going to have to add this to an uh, empty game object so that the code will actually execute. There we go. And I'm just going to run the game. And we can see we have zero strength, which is actually correct, zero out of 100. Now we can also subscribe to an event, so when the strength changes we might want to do something specific in our code. So we can say strength.on and we have experience changed. This is when we add experience to progress a level, when the actual level changed and when a value changed. So let's say we want to know when a value changes. Uh, let's create a new method. So this method will be invoked as soon as the value on our strength stat has changed. So we'll just write debug.log and we can say stat.current value. Just wait for Unity to recompile and start the game again. So now it's not invoking because nothing has changed yet, but our sort is actually adding some strength, as you can see at the bottom. If I click it, it changed to 10 strength. So we can use this to hook it into our own code, which is very useful. On top of that, we can actually listen to any stat changing. So now we're listening to just the specific strength changing, but we can also listen to any stat that could change. So we can say stats.on stat value changed. So this is called when any stat has been changed. Uh, let's see, we can add a stat name. So here we grab the stat, that is actually the, the value that has changed, the stat that changed. And we grab the definition, the definition consists of all the constant information like the stat name and, and the levels it has. As you can see here, we have uh, the stat name, the category it belongs into, if it should be shown in the UI, the icon it uses, etc. So we grab that name and then we say that specific stat has changed. And there we go, strength has changed when we equip this weapon. If multiple stats change, uh, the event will be invoked multiple times.